Hey Gemini, welcome to Queen Urban and Tarot. Today we're going to do your second week of April general love reading. Keep in mind these are general readings. They cannot possibly apply to every single person watching. But if you would like a personal reading, the link will always be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. For all of my new viewers, I'm an intuitive card reader. I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both decks on top of crystal organite pucks. And doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for your reading today. I also charge both decks on top of your own personalized astrological card. So again, this reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone is doing well. Currently, there are absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks. So if we get into reversals, I'm going to accept them because I know they are aligned with the messages that I'm meant to give you guys today. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, I heard the song, Love Me in a Special Way by DeBarge. Again, the name of the song is Love Me in a Special Way by DeBarge. I always leave the link to the songs in the description box below so that you guys can listen to it following your reading because I know it's going to be aligned with the energy for your reading today. So, the first part, the part of the song that popped out to me and it, it like rang out strongly is the part of the song where he says, um, what did he say? I'm something about I'm special. I don't fall for any line that sounds good. What was the? Oh my God, I can't think of it. Okay, something about I'm special. I'm not the average kind who falls for any line that sounds good. And when I asked about that specific message, and I wonder, you know, how does this tie into your energy today? It was a strong energy of someone who's open to love again, but they're also aware that they need to sound uh, set boundaries. And you know what? That makes perfectly good sense. Because if you look at the bottom of the deck for your clarifying deck, you had an eight of swords. This is you guys' energy. In the past, you may have not have sound, uh, set boundaries. Why can't I talk with you guys? You guys got a lot on your mind today. You guys may not have set boundaries with a past love interest. And it left you feeling tied and bound to whatever stipulations you guys you know, agreed to or whatever it was that this person implemented in a relationship you felt bound to it because you didn't set boundaries and also look at this this is boundaries because this person is bound right and i feel and again this is air sign energy right and i feel like you guys were really from a past relationship something made you realize that you really need to set boundaries and i feel like moving forward that's what a lot of you guys are doing for this reason i feel like this is going to apply to a lot of people getting into new relationships or just starting a new relationship it could be for people who are in current relationships that they've been in for a while too but i feel a stronger energy for newer relationships okay and the bottom deck you guys did see this ace of wands some of you guys be coming into contact or in a new relationship with a leo sag aries someone rising venus individual doesn't have to be i always hold the deck down and part it randomly two of cups like i said now like I, there's this is first of all you had ace of wands and then now you had the two of cups whoever this person is that you're connected to or getting ready to connect to this is a very strong connection you and this person have, very passionate and even intuitively powerful. You see, I always say with this particular deck, their their third eyes are aligned. It's like they see, literally see, the best in one another, okay? As we part the deck randomly so that we can shuffle, wow, you have the emperor. This is a life partner. For a lot of you guys, if you're just starting a relationship, this is a life partner. So I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm picking up that a lot of people feel like they're moving too fast in a relationship and you may feel like you're moving too fast because this person may feel very familiar this person feels familiar to you wow this this is some powerful energy wow okay we're gonna get two cards one is gonna be a general energy and the second is gonna be a possible outcome and then we'll get a clarifier for both for our gemini sun moon rising and venus individuals let's see what we have here yeah and i'm gonna tell you so you have the Queen of Pentacles here, and then you have the King of Cups here, and both are in reverse. I feel like this is a past relationship situation. You or this other person could both have water and earth sign placements in your chart, but more than anything, I feel like with this Queen of Pentacles being reversed, it just wasn't enough stability. And that's why this love situation, you know, is flipped upside down. There wasn't enough stability in a past relationship. And like I said, that you have a king and a queen there, right? So kings and queens, they know exactly what they want. They don't ask questions. Look at that. Because now you have the King of Cups upright, and then you have the Hangman in reverse. You know, and look at how the Hangman is looking in the direction of the King of Cups. You're no longer in limbo. 
you don't feel like this person is left you hanging because I feel like there's a newness, especially with now this King of Cups is upright. At first it was in reverse. There's a newness. I feel like there's something new coming in for a lot of you guys. You're no longer hanging in that same place of feeling loveless because that King of Cups in reverse is loveless. Okay. Look at that loveless four of wands in reverse. This past person that you just left, you could possibly have felt like. This person was your life partner, your twin flame, your divine counterpart. And I know that because now you have the hangman coming up right, right next to the four of um, wands, which lets me know very clearly that you were hanging on to that past relationship because you felt like hanging on because you felt like this was your life partner. You felt like you guys were soulmates. Mm -mm. Whoever this new person is you're dealing with, I feel like is. I'm just saying, look at that. They definitely are. Because <laughs> now at the bottom of the deck, you have the four of wands. You literally, I feel like whoever you are dealing with right now or whoever's coming in, this is your life partner, I feel like. And it makes sense too also with that song because, you know, in the hook he says, love me in a special way. What more can I say? Love me now. Wow. Okay. And then it also ties in because like I said, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to feel like you want to move right now. You want it to happen right now. It's just you feel impulsive. And you did see we had the Ace of Wands at the very beginning. It's impulsive, like this passionate, very quick, impulsive nature. You know, and I feel like you guys feel that way towards that person or this person feels that way towards you because you guys recognize each other on a soul level. And I feel like it's going to be very powerful for you guys. I also still feel like there's a lingering tinge of regret about this past relationship. So if you do still think about this person, I don't know, you know, that can interfere a little bit with. Yeah, it can interfere a little bit with. um your forward progression. Now you have a death card in reverse. So <laughs> that's just clear to what I was saying. Some of you guys had this lingering energy about you and this person, but because you know, the death card are right. That's about transformations. The ending of one cycle and the beginning of another in reverse. Ending of one cycle, beginning of another, but in reverse is the opposite. Like I said, some of you guys are still kind of holding on, and that makes sense because now you had a hermit card as your possible outcome. And I just said, you know, you guys still may be thinking about this person. The hermit is very deep in contemplation. You know, still constantly thinking. Both of these are arcana. Your first two main energies are arcana. That's very powerful. I'm going to tell you with this death card reverses the universe. The universe is telling you. Because if you look in the background of the hermit card, you see the stars, the cosmos. That's the universe. The universe is telling you, like, okay, you can think about it, but you need to release it. Because the death card is also about releasing. They're telling you you need to release this other person before you can you know, get the new one the, before the new one can come in. Yeah. Yep. Feeling bound. You need to release this other person. We're going to hold the deck down apart randomly. Mm -hmm. Still holding on to this person. Cause you see, he has a skill. Like he's trying to keep things balanced, but one person is getting crumbs and there's another person right here that is not getting any attention. And I feel like this may be the newer person. Cause you're still kind of feeding your attention, feeding these crumbs to this person from the past. So you need to balance your energy with that scale right there. That's, you know, that's giving me vibration. You need to balance your energy so that this other person could come in. Temperance card requires some patience. You need to be patient with yourself. I feel like a lot of you guys may be frustrated with your love journey. Very emotional about it. Because if you see one foot is in that water, the other foot is on land. So it's like you're kind of here, you're kind of not, you're, you're in and out with your emotions. But I want you to notice in the background there's a sun coming up in the horizon. There's a brighter day. And also pay attention to the fact when we seen the Two of Cups right there at their third eye chakra, it was glowing. This person who's coming in was something, somebody that you waited for for a while. This is who you've been waiting for. The Tempest is about waiting and ready to pour, wow, and then ready to pour your cups. Like I said, we've seen that two of cups. And then I just noticed this, you know, this right here at the third eye chakra. And then he's pouring from one cup to another, two of cups. The universe is bringing in your life partner. This person is coming in, I feel like, very soon. And if you haven't met them already, they're coming in. But if, you, if you're dating somebody new, this person very well may be your life partner, most definitely. So let's get clarifier. One for the death card in reverse and one for look at that. They want to come up again. You're walking away from something that was very toxic and tumultuous with the five of swords. A lot of arguing with this person. And the universe is like, don't worry about it, I got your back. We finna pour into your cup, you know. That's that's moving forward. 
so we're gonna get one card mm, look at that again one card is going to be for your death card in reverse, and one is going to be for your hermit. You got the four of wands in reverse next to the, the temperance in reverse. Again, I feel like this is past energy. I feel like this was your situation with this past person. <clears throat> and it just wasn't meant to be with you and that last person. Look at that. Absolutely it wasn't. Because somebody new was coming in. Now you got the four of wands upright. Yep. You guys got somebody new coming in, and that's going to be your life partner. And if you resonate with the twin flames, look at that. You guys have a lot of psychic energy. So I'm going to tell you, like with that two of cups, you see how right there at their third eye chakra, you know, you had that glow. And then right here in her hat, it looks like a little moon right here, but that's the crown chakra. And we all know that the high priest is about intuition, very strong intuition, being in tune. I feel like, yeah, especially with this in your reading also, spiritual alignment, spiritual attunement. And I'm going to tell you also, if you resonate with the Twin Flames, Soulmate, you know, Divine Counterpart Mission, usually one of the first abilities that awakens within you is your intuition. Like you start having, you start seeing synchronicities. Mm. And also pay attention to at the top, you have that, it looks like the Gemini symbol, symbol but it's two, right? And that's union. This could be the yin to your yang, you know, Divine Counterparts. You or this other person could have a B or a J. In your first, middle, and last initial. I feel like one of one of you specifically is very, very intuitive. Most definitely, because you have a high priestess and you have hermit. Now, I'm going to tell you something also. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a four-card spread. You have one, two, three arcanas. This is major. And that's why I kept telling you guys, like, whatever it is, Something that major is come. This person major. Look at that. Look at that. Major. So you have three dang on what is it? Three major three are kind of right. And then you have an ace of pentacles. This is a gift from the universe. Something that's gonna be long lasting. The ace of pentacles is long lasting, solid foundation. You know, this is something that's gonna be lifelong. This is something that's gonna be a partnership where you guys have stability, financial, emotional. You know, that's going to be, this is something stable. Also, keep in mind, I mentioned earlier that there's a pot, yeah, there's a possibility that somebody has some very strong earth sign placements in their chart because the hermit is, is Virgo and Tarot. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles that's towards Virgo, Capricorn, Summon, Rising, Venus, and the Visual. You have the Death card in reverse clarified by the High Priestess. You knew that this past relationship, it was time for it to end, but you've kind of fought it. That's why the Death card is in reverse, right? And just when I said that the time is 12.55, so some of you guys want to Google angel number 12.55 and see what the message is for you. I'm going to tell you right now, fives are about change. And when I looked at the time, it's 12.55, so that's two fives, that's change. A lot of change coming into you guys. And I know that for a fact because four, I mean, I'm sorry, three of your four cards are a kinda. And then one is an ace. Like, come on, that's this, this is the only reading that I've done today that has had that this amount of energy in it, Okay. You knew that something was meant to end, but you were fighting it. But the universe nonetheless swept in and was like, girl, wake up. Girl, or oh boy, wake up. Tune in. We got something else for you. And if you look at it, it's very powerfully aligned because as the cards are looking, the hermit is facing the direction of the hand. The hand that the pinnacle is in is going in the same direction, which means everything is powerfully aligned. Everything is aligned for you. And, you know... I'm going to call out signs because I feel like, you know, it was kind of not so, it was all over the place because it's so much energy. But I will say, and it doesn't have to be these signs that apply to you, but I'm just going to call them out because I know a lot of people like to hear the signs. With the death card, you have the energy of Scorpio. With the hermit card, you have the energy of Virgo. With the high priestess, you have the energy of um, Pisces. And with the ace of pentacles, again, you have that Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, yeah. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. Two strong earth, earthy energies, and then two water. So you and this person, because you have Pisces and Scorpio here, so you or this person can have water signs, strong water sign placements, strong earth sign placements, sun, moon, rising, Venus, somewhere in you and this person's chart. If that if that resonates with you, then this reading would definitely apply, especially if you're in a new relationship. This right here lets me know this is definitely something that's newer. You know, I don't feel like this has been years that you and this person have been together. This is something new. 
And I feel like the universe is like, you, all this time, because remember we kept seeing the temperance card, they were telling you to be patient because they were coming in with something major. Look how big that pinnacle is. It's almost as big as this hand. Literally. Which means it's almost like this, this blessing is overflowing. You're going to feel like there's an overflowing of abundance once this, this union comes together. Okay? And this is beautiful. So beautiful. I'm excited because I'm a Gemini Sun, Gemini Venus, Gemini North Node, and Gemini Midhaven. So, this resonates with me also. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I haven't met this person, but I'm excited about it. This is incredible. Okay. So, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.